We picked them up at about 35 or 50 miles coming in, and I stationed myself up on the signal bridge with a 35 millimeter motion picture camera to film the battle. This is the uh, five inch guns firing uh, at the dive bombers coming in. That's a six inch telephoto lens. Now, now here, here comes a dive bomber. Now look at the anti-aircraft fire. They're really concentrating on that one. Now he's coming back around to, to dive. Very few people were on the flight deck, only the gun crews. No, no Kibitzing or observers were up there. You were working. I was you know, probably the only one unarmed on the flight deck. You can see the one that went down the stack and put out the boilers and they're still smoking and burning. And uh, I came down off the signal bridge where I'd been positioned, got a still camera, and started taking pictures of damage on the flight deck. And this is just one of the pictures. It's one of the most famous pictures because in one view you get uh, the full concept of, of the battle damage and the activity and what's going on and the condition of the ship, basically. This is the 1.1 um, <clears throat> or multiple gun mounts. See, that's the gun and the, and the loader's there. See, that, that, that's the pointer and, or trainer and these are the gun magazines right in here. These, these are the dead people and uh, their helmets and stuff. Uh, that wasn't shown in the Telenews Theater in uh, San Francisco, none, none, none of this. That's the first time I've seen this. I was on the signal bridge filming the dive bombers and their activities, and then uh, the two torpedo planes came, and they struck a port side midship just below the waterline, 